Hi Cancer, this is your reading for February 1st to February 15th, 2020. I'm um, sorry I was away for a very long time. I am back now and um, I'll be starting off with the Goddess Oracle deck. This is a reading in regards to your love interest. So Cancer, in terms of the person that you're connecting with, the person that you're thinking about, even if they're close to you or they're not close to you, this reading is on behalf of them. So from this deck, the Oracle deck, I'm going to first uh, tell you what the person's thinking about you currently. And after that, what are they going to be thinking about and feeling in early February to mid-February? All right, then. let me do my prayer. Okay, so Cancerians. Hmm. That's funny. The entire deck is topsy turvy. Okay. Wow. So currently, currently, what is the other person of interest feeling and thinking? Oh. Ooh la la. I haven't seen that card in a while. Love. What is this current person of Gemini feeling and thinking towards Gemini? bottom of the deck is awakening. So Cancer, currently this person feels that the situation that you're both going through is very challenging because there is love involved. Yay! There's love involved and it doesn't seem to be too bad. It's just that this person may seem that they're going around in circles. There's a rhythms card here. They may seem that this relationship is divinely guided and they are in love with you. They sense love from you as well. They sense this. They can feel it. They know it. However, this emotion is challenging for them. They find it challenging to maybe express themselves to you. And so they're quiet about it and they keep going on in their head over and over again about the way they feel. They want things to have harmony. Things might have gotten a little out of place recently. And they feel that there's so much that you can provide to them in terms of abundance. They feel that there's something about you that you give off, whether that's um, your vibration, that could just be your energy, that could be money, that could be emotional security, a sense of um, physical um, attachment. They, they do feel that there's something about you from you that they get that is abundant and they like it. They want that. Under the deck there is awakening. So it seems that in recent times they're starting to realize something about themselves or about this relationship and it is a realization. So there seems to be progress forward. So that's what they're feeling currently. It's very good. It's very nice. Um, now let's see from February 1st to February 15th. What are they going to feel in the future for you? What are they going to feel in the future? What are their emotions and feelings towards your cancer in the future? From February 1st to February 15th, 2020. 
for all the Cancerians out there. The ones in love, the ones who are looking for love, the ones who are in between love. What is it that is going to happen with a person of interest in the beginning? All right, let's do this. Hmm. Oh dear. Boundaries. Oh no. These are complex cards. Oh. This person is crazy about you. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my heavens! This person's nuts about you! Oh my god! This is beautiful. It's sad, but it's beautiful. Because there's so much love, there's so much emotion. This person's like head over heels. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to deal with this. Oh my. Wow, Gemini, what the heck did you do to this person? My oh wows, and I'll, I'm going to explain everything, so just one sec. Okay, let's do this. I see a few more that I need to pull out because they've popped out. Well, wow, they're, they're bittersweet. It's bittersweet. This is what this reading is. This is bittersweet. So, in February, what's going to happen from the 1st of February to the 15th of February... This person is going to, or appear, either they really will put up boundaries or they'll appear as if they put up boundaries. Um, they don't want to talk about the situation. They don't want to deal with the situation. They can't contain the amount of love that has been there. They feel, the next card is Baba Yaga, they feel as if you might not be that serious in this situation or in this connection. They feel you might be a bit changeable, a bit fickle, not so, um, not so committed. You may be hiding things. They want to change the situation that they're in. They really want to change because it's overwhelming them and it's starting to bother them. They also want to change because they feel that the situation no longer is serving them and they think it might have a higher purpose why they met you. They actually think that this is divinely guided. Um, and they want to change the situation that they're in with you right now. Um, well, in the, in the future, that's what they want to do. They want to change the situation because they're tired of it. Um, death and rebirth. They want to get rid of the past and start something new. The way things were going on in the past are not working for them anymore, so they want something different now. They're veiling themselves. So this is an illusion. It's an illusion card. Um, the illusion card... Sorry, I'm just going to place this like this. The illusion card is... This person is hiding their true feelings. Oh, my. They're... So what's going to happen is they're... They're going to try to play it safe. They're going to try to hide their emotions. However, they're absolutely crazy about you. They're in love with you. This is not just lust. They're in love with you, and the amount of love, it's so overwhelming, they don't know how to handle it. They don't know how to express it to you. So what they're going to do, they're going to put up their boundaries because they think that you are not being so serious. They want to change because they feel this is divinely guided. They want to change the situation from what it was to something new. They are sick and tired of hiding behind the veil. They don't want to be hiding anymore. They don't want to be shy. They want. They don't want to avoid you anymore. What they want to do is play. They want to flirt with you. They want to talk to you. They want to have fun with you. This card over here, relationship card. They actually want to have a relationship with you. They want to get rid of all of this and have a relationship with you and they want to flirt with you so all of the heavy energy that they might have expressed or they might not be expressing it's basically like a big 
water cooler and all that love is inside of that water cooler but they want to express it to you in drips because they feel for some reason too much of it would be too overwhelming which is why these cards are the way they are this person's not just like gung ho and they're just not gonna you know tell you how it is because maybe they've done that in the past and they see that maybe you put up boundaries um, so what they want to do is they do want to express themselves they want to unveil what they're hiding and they will do it and they'll do it very softly slowly sweetly and they definitely want a relationship with you they want to embrace the shadow so something might have happened between you two there might have been words that were spoken that should not have been something that might have been unconventional there's something that has happened that you usually would not have done or this person might not have done and for this reason it has caused them to become emotional uh, very emotional about you in order to proceed forward you both need to get over what it was that you both went through and if both of you are feeling shy or avoiding each other the best way would be in drips and drabs just like this just like the flirting card you can slowly start talking to each other don't just rush right into it um, that would be the best approach and that is the approach that will be taken it's not going to happen all at once it's going to happen very gradually very slowly and the overall energy is ecstasy so you make this person happy on a spiritual level and that spiritual feeling that they get that connection that they get with you makes them vulnerable and makes them want to be more in love with you so there's something something about you cancer that this person they're just head over heels and they're so overwhelmed they don't know how to say it they don't know how to say it but they'll try they're gonna try to open up to you and they're gonna try to play they're gonna try to be playful maybe flirt a little maybe look at you in a funny way um, and they want a relationship with you that's what's going to happen in the early to mid February now I'm going to just take out a few clarification cards I just want to find out a little more about what we need to know for cancer in terms of the person of interest what actions is this person going to take in the future in early February to mid February Wow, okay, so this person might apologize to you and feel foolish for what they had done. They might have felt, this person might be younger than you or you might be younger than them. This person might have felt that um, whatever they did, they didn't think about it. Or maybe you didn't think about it. But somebody, there's going to be an apology. And it's going to be a very sweet, very innocent apology. And right under that popped the ten of cups so this person or yourself it's going to be expressed on some level that there is mutual love and mutual understanding and that no matter what happens one party makes the other feel so good um, just the memory of that person helps them move on throughout the day although it is heartbreaking but they do feel that you are their ten of cups you make them whole you make them complete they wish that they had a family with you they wish they had a home with you and this could be vice versa you might be wishing that this will happen um, what it does show here in sequence is yes there should be some type of an apology and then something good will come from that apology it can also be I mean it could have been a, word, a really bad card where somebody apologizes and the other does not accept their apology 
but no, this is a good card. Ten of Cups, can't get better than that. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Ace of Cups. Oh, I love it. This is so good. Um, there is a relationship in terms of overflowing of love that is going to be exchanged. There's going to be sweet words. There's going to be a relationship that's going to start. That's the action. Somebody's going to approach you or you're going to approach somebody and it's all going to start by a small gesture. It's a really nice reading. Oh wow. The Hierophant. So the person that you're dealing with really is, they believe in tradition, they believe in commitment, they believe in honesty and trust, and they believe that doing doing things the right way, they don't want to, like I said, they, there's the illusion card, the veil card, um, they don't want to hide behind the illusion anymore, they want to get things done right and the way they should be, the way they're supposed to be in society. And under the deck is the Four of Cups. So this person may have been regretting the way things had been or the way things were. Um, so that will be vanished and really good stuff is going to happen. That's amazing. There's going to be some really good karma coming for uh, both of you. There's going to be love. There's going to be commitment. There's going to be trust and understanding. That That's what it is. There's going to be mutual trust and mutual understanding between both of you. That's beautiful. That's really, it's like probably the only good reading that I've done so far. It's such a happy reading. <laughs> Cancerians. Uh, this is Angel Answers from Doreen Virtues. I just want to maybe get three cards out just to give a bit of guidance in terms of this relationship that um, that you're looking that you're looking into. Oh wow, I don't know what it is tonight. Oh my god, this is so many times this card's come up. It's come up in every in every reading. Trust. Trust in your intuition, trust in God, trust in the divine or the spirit, whatever you believe in. Trust in that, trust in your intuition. Do not doubt it. This card's come up way too many times. I think everybody that I'm reading for and when this card's popping up, you all just need to trust what it is you believe in. Do not doubt anymore. It's solid. Whatever you have in that mind and that heart of yours, you believe it, and you go and you do it. You speak it. Speak your truth. You have to. Within the next few weeks, whatever is happening between you and this person, after mid-February, within the next few weeks, something good should pop up from whatever the situation was before. So there might be somebody that apologizes. So or there might be just, just some type of playful gesture. But don't reject this gesture. Don't reject it. Don't be cold. Be very warm if that's what you want. And remain positive. That's the last card here. Remain positive. So you may have been really worried about the situation as well or maybe just um, confused. You might have been confused about the situation. But... Um, it seems as if this person has to go through their own phase and they have realized now that there's so much involved in their mind. Um, their heart is so much for you. They love you so much. They really want to give you their heart and everything. Oh my God, it's crazy. And the bottom of the deck, the situation will improve. Oh, my Cancerians, I'm so happy for you. That's so sweet. Ah, oh, that's a beautiful reading. It's the best one I've done so far. So pretty. Love it. Alright guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Remember to stay positive and trust your intuition. That's definitely what you have to do. If you don't, then everything that's laid out for you, there'll be no use. 
you have to make it happen. And you never know till you try. So with that, I can say goodbye. And uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you wish for me to do any readings, um, just uh, send me an email. Uh, you'll find on the link below. I also do conduct health-related readings. Um, so if you wish to inquire about anything related to your, yourself, um, a loved one, uh, you know, whatever it may be, just let me know and um, we can fix the time and I can do a reading for you. So I'll meet you guys again in mid-February. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Bye now.